Drum terminology, it can be a little confusing. Wow, that symbol is really trashy. Thank you for the compliment, kind sir. Wow, your drums sound like trash cans. What have I done to deserve this? I've spent my entire life chasing the perfect drum tone and have spent half of my life savings on testing every drum head combo on the market to achieve an exemplary amount of resonance. Woe is me. Why oh why me I ask? Or is it really that bad of an insult? Let's find out. It's a trash can. I think we gotta tune that a little bit. I got it, don't worry. If only I had a trash can to get rid of this trash. I keep forgetting to keep count, but this is the seventh new drum set of the year, so I have a couple more months if I wanna beat last year's record of 11 drum sets. But this kit was made by Ray Fragon, and if you check out his website, you'll see that he has some pretty crazy and interesting concepts when it comes to building drums. Which, from what he explained to me, the idea behind all these crazy and wacky contraptions is to prove that you don't need a really nice drum set or really expensive shells to have a good sound. And what better way to prove that than with some trash cans? So this is like the most bare bones, simple drum set that anyone could put together. So let's take a deep dive into these drums and see if they sound any good. First thing I'm noticing is even though these are metal shells, there's still a few different species of wood on them. So it looks like some yellow pine lugs, then we got some spruce lugs, then even some pressure treated lugs. The tension rods look like all thread with some acorn nuts on them. And then the swivel nuts are actually nuts with some locking washers. It has some high-tech copper-plated zinc washers, custom aluminum floor tom legs, which I'm just now realizing how tall the floor tom is. The toms do have standard triple flange hoops, then an actual bass drum hoop on the bass drum, at least on the batter. There's a triple flange on the rezzo. So I do need to open up the bass drum to get the tom out. So let's see, these look like 7 sixteenths. No, it's too big. Looks like a 3 8 nut. Make sure we grab the nuts as they come out. Who put all this trash in my drum? Ray, are you missing your tape? Eat that, Trixon. Steel conical shells. Let's get some measurements. Batter side rack tom is 14 inches. Resonant side is 12. And the depth is about 12 and a half inches. Bass drum batter is a 22. Rezzo is 18 inches and is 27 inches deep. Floor tom batter is 18 inches. Rezzo is 16. And we'll call that 23 inches deep. When it comes to the construction of a drum set, there's two main things that can really mess up how it sounds. First is the shell being out of round and looking like an egg. With the trash can kit, it's probably not a big deal because the main issue is when the collar of the drum head is tight on the shell and as you put tension on it, the shell kind of makes it deform and morphs the shape of the head so it can't seat properly on the bearing edge but with the trash can kit, the shells are so undersized compared to the drum heads that the collar of the heads are nowhere near the shells, so it probably won't be a big issue. And the second big issue is when the bearing edge of the shell isn't flat. I'm sure you've seen in like the DW factory tour videos where they test the flatness of a shell on a granite surface plate, because again, just like before, if the bearing edge isn't flat, the head will have a hard time seating on the shell and makes it really hard to tune. And I'm kind of scared to check these shells because they're trash cans. So I don't have a surface plate, so we're gonna rely on the cast iron top of my table saw. This should be relatively flat. Yeah, that is not flat. Let's check the other side. Let's shine a light down inside and see if there's any uh, spill at the bottom. Yeah, see that light? That means it's not flat. The floor tom. That is even worse. That would not fly on a wooden shell. Let's flip her over. It doesn't rock as bad, but you can see that it's not very even. To be fair though, it looked like this leg got pressed in during shipping, so let's beat that back out. There's still some pretty major gaps though. And finally, the bass drum. It's actually not that bad. 
or never mind, that is pretty bad. Flip her over. Again, it feels flat, but it's not flat. Also, if you're curious, the bearing gauges on the batter side of all the drums are a pretty large round over. Then on the resonant side, they're a lot skinnier and I guess technically they are sharper, but still pretty dull at the same time. So if this was a traditional wooden drum set, I guarantee it would sound horrible and be impossible to tune, and any drum company would 100% reject these shells. But maybe since these are undersized compared to the heads, they might tune up just fine. And speaking of tuning, I want to build a drum key for this kit because using a little handle driver thing like this doesn't give you the same finesse as a drum key. Did I mention that it's like a hundred degrees out here? Oh yeah, this thing's gonna be nice. I might have spoken too soon. With a normal drum key, you can put it on the head, let go of it, and then kind of do this whole thing, but not really with this one. So I put some magnets inside so it would like hold itself up, which it does now, and you can kind of tune it. But the only issue now is when you pull it off, it takes the magnets with it. I'm also not really concerned with the heads that are on here. It's kind of like a hodgepodge of heads and they're definitely a bit used. But I'm really not worried about it because they're trash cans. And I should probably mention that this isn't a kit that he's selling. He even said that he was kind of embarrassed to send me this kit, but uh, I think it's really cool. And you know, going through the struggle of putting this thing together and tuning it is totally worth it. Hear that? This is one of the spots that was not very flat. And for the legs, we need an Allen wrench. Hopefully it's metric because that's all I have in here. It's not metric. There we go. She really looks like a floor tom now. Are you serious? Now we got the spurs. And we can finally set this kit up. I still can't get over how crazy this bass drum looks. I mean, it sounds like a drum set, so next time someone says your drums sound like trash, just send them this video.